Good morning, everyone. My name is Ashley Holguin. I'll be telling you about the moment my life and my future changed forever with the snap of a button. When I was just about 13 years old, I was in a car crash that was so major, we were totally were lucky to be alive. To this day, I don't question how I could have stopped it. I question what would happen if I told the truth, if I told the police officer that I had a bloody nose, but in the moment I was so scared that I hid it and said, I'm fine. Within a few days, I couldn't move my arms above my shoulders. I had asked my parents to do daily things for me because I couldn't even reach the cupboard for a glass of water. So I went to physical therapy, and within a few months, I was able to move my arms again. But he also told me that I should have been feeling better by then because I was still feeling a lot of pain on my back when he applied pressure. I didn't think anything of it. After all, it was a really bad crash. But then, within another month later, I was in the hallway waiting for a class to start in high school, and then I couldn't get up. I couldn't feel my left leg. I felt so much pain, and I had friends ask me if something was wrong. Again, in fear, I said, I'm fine, and I waited till the pain went away. I was late to class that day, and no one knew why. So I went back to my chiropractor, and I told him what was wrong, and he suggested that I go get an MRI. So when they examined my back, they found that they, I had multiple bulges in my lower spine, right next to my tailbone. So what was happening apparently was these bulges came out and hit the nerves in my leg to where I can't feel anything. I can't walk or I'm in massive amounts of pain. This led to bigger things in my life to change because before I knew it, I was starting to slouch this way because I was afraid the bulges would come out more, which was ruining my posture. Not only that, I wasn't allowed to carry heavy objects. I wasn't allowed to do or twists and turns, which I didn't think I was doing. And then as time went on, I figured out I couldn't do even more daily things with my friends. Uh, because I couldn't lift heavy things, I couldn't help them sometimes. I couldn't go on roller coasters. I couldn't jump on a trampoline, which didn't seem like a bad thing or anything, until the trampoline park opened at the Buena Park Mall where I live, and I would have to sit out and just watch my friends. So how this changed me through over time though, is I learned who are my real friends. Something that I hate having because I hear people. They don't realize it for some reason, but I have ears. I have a rolling backpack that I'm forced to use every day because I can't carry all those books. But I hear the comments. I hear what an inconvenience, and the weirdest thing, how gay, which I didn't understand. It's a rolling backpack. What am I supposed to do? So it made me realize who my real friends are. And the other thing it made me realize was how much I need to cherish every day. Not because of the pain, but because I have now accepted the fact with all the injections in my back that have not helped, that one day I will become paralyzed and I can't stop it. It could be next year. It could be tomorrow. So today, I need to live my life. Thank you.